two things I want to flag. One, we took uh, MP materials, taking that back down to the bench uh, this morning. Look, we got back in this uh, because there was this short report that I think is short and distort. Maybe they're legitimate errors by confused people who created this great alpha opportunity. We've gotten a nice bounce back. <clears throat> it's not really something I'm that excited about in this uh, you know, market and macro backdrop, right? It's just going to be harder sledding. You know, at the same time, I think it's just going to be a, it's just going to be a, a devaluation for a lot of these higher growth names, and that's just a harder place to be. And we can go back whenever we want, right? We got our bounce, but we're there. We're going to keep a trade to trade, basically. Uh, so that's um, you know just hitting on those two names, like that thesis is working out. So just to be clear, it's like great call MP. You know, get some guy with shoddy, not even research, trying to push his own book. You make a call on it, big bounce. That's it, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's a name I'd like to, you know, we're going to like Rockwell. We have some names that we just, I think, work out great on like a five-year tail duration. But, you know, you don't yeah, want to just yeah. sit there and get clobbered when they go down. Like it, it did go down, right? Like part of the reason it responded to that short and distort report more than the one in the fourth quarter is, you know, as, as uh, you know, we saw in Staples or uh, you, you see a little bit more of a market reaction that reflects the macro backdrop. Uh, to bad news or good news, right? Like people are looking to sell these growthier names. So you get a piece of bad news and, oh, you know, there it goes. You get a deeper reaction than you would expect from what's actually a weaker report, a less well-researched report. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll take that alpha. But at the same time, you have to recognize where you are in, in the cycle and respond accordingly. Uh, you know, and, and that's, a, that's a pretty big move. I got down, I guess, like 33 and it'll probably be in 39 something today. So I'll take that. Um, I, I mean, in the risk range, I'd I'd sell that. I mean, in quad four, you got to you got to be fast. I mean, it's it's much more a trading. It's not an investor's market unless you're long of the assets that have falling volatility, the attributes of like a staple or a utility for that matter. Um, so you know, you got to be faster, or you just don't buy stocks. I mean, because you're going to get killed when the VIX goes back to thirty. Uh, in anything. If this thing's at 39 today and the VIX goes to 30 again in two weeks, it's going to go back to 35 or something. I mean, you don't, you don't with 35, 33, whatever it is, maybe not 33, but you'd need that sketchy guy to maybe come out with the second report on it. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.